Hello, in this video we're going to integrate sine x plus sinh of x with respect to x. Let's go ahead and carefully work through its solution. So we can actually go straight from here to the answer, but we do have to think. So we're integrating sine of x, so we're going backwards, we're anti-differentiating. When you integrate sine, you want to think, what is a function whose derivative is going to give you sine? Well, if you take the derivative of cosine with respect to x, you're going to get negative sine. So when you integrate sine, you're going to get negative cosine. So this is going to be negative cosine x. And you should check, if you take the derivative of negative cosine x, are you going to get sine? You are, because the derivative of cosine is negative sine, as you see here, but we already have a negative, so negative and negative is positive. As far as cinch, that one's much easier. When you integrate cinch, you get cosinch. And that checks as well. The derivative of cosinch is cinch. And then we add our constant of integration plus c. Let's actually manually check so you see it. So if I write it in white, d dx of negative cosine x plus cosinch x plus c. So if you take the derivative of your answer, you should always get this piece here. This piece has a special name, by the way, called the integrand. So if you differentiate your result after integrating, you should always get the integrand. So differentiating this, derivative of cosine is negative sine, so we get negative, negative sine. Derivative of cosinch is sinh. And then the derivative of c is zero, so it goes away. So we get sine x plus sinh x, which is the integrand in the original problem. Hopefully you've learned some math in this video, and hopefully this video has helped someone out there. If you feel like you've learned some math, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, good luck.